Hi there, these comments are for HP and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder owner and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the TOEFL online course, the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. Now let's take a look at at your specific email here. I'm gonna actually you made a Facebook post, right? I'm going to see if I can get you back on track here. So you see, I took the TOEFL recently two times, but could not get the scores I need. I got 25 on the listening, 27 on the reading, 26, my goodness, on the speaking. And then writing, you got 18 and 20. So you see, I need help to get 24 in writing. Hope to hear from you. Thanks. All right. So I think we can do this. Um... Okay, now let's take a look at what 18 or 20 means. So I'm going to go over to the uh, to the rubrics for the independent writing task. I'm going to give you a brief explanation here. So if you're scoring 18 points, it means you have limited development of ideas as it relate to the topic. You're not giving enough details. Uh, you have inadequate organization or connection of ideas. You have inappropriate or lack of details, examples, explanations. You have numerous problems with inappropriate word choice or word forms. You have a large number of errors in sentence structure and or usage. So it could be you have some of these problems going on right now, at least one or more of the following weaknesses. Now let's take a look at the integrated writing see what a possible problem might be so if you're scoring 18 on that it says you have not demonstrated an understanding of how the information in the lecture is connected to the information in the reading passage uh, you have completely omitted the overall connection which means maybe in the beginning you didn't explain what the relationship was between the lecture and the reading passage. You have left out important information from the lecture. And you also have what's called language errors or expressions that make connection or meaning unclear at key junctures, such as your thesis statement or topic sentences. All right, so my recommendation for you at this point is let's go over to my course right now I'm going to show you and I sent you I reactivated your account so let me know if you have any problems logging on and when you get into my course you will see all of my lessons it'll kind of look like this right which is uh, a lot of a lot of lessons and the question is what should you focus on and uh, I think that there's two areas in my course that you want to focus on more and it will be grammar and also writing so first of all let's go to the grammar area first I'll show you what you want to be doing here so I'm going to step three grammar and the first thing you want to do right now is to take my grammar diagnostic pretest because you want to find out which areas in the grammar part of my course you're having more trouble with and that means that you'll probably have these problems in your writing also so take the grammar diagnostic pretest and then focus on the lessons as indicated by the pretest that's one of the first things you want to do now also you you want to be focusing on the writing part of my course and the main thing for you is to start completing writing practice tests I'd recommend that you do maybe three or four writing practice tests per week you should be completing independent and integrated writing practice tests so you can become more familiar with what your problems are and you can start getting feedback from me so my recommendation for you is is each day during the week you should do maybe a grammar lesson then a writing lesson maybe in the same day then a grammar then a writing so you start going through the grammar and the writing areas of my course that would be part of my recommendation for you at this point so again you should be focusing on the grammar and the writing parts of my course uh, that's what I recommend for you and one other 
uh, thing that I think will help you. Uh, what I would do is, your reading's already pretty good, but I'm going to recommend that you do reading for about 15 minutes every day, and you can also practice listening about 15 minutes every day. And with listening, if you don't have English TV, you can use National Public Radio or TED Talks or R Randall Cyber Listening Lab. Now, each week... You should be writing about three 250 word summaries. This is good practice for the integrated writing. So you're taking notes on the reading and the listening passages that you're practicing. Remember, you're choosing the reading and the listening materials. They do not have to come from my website. They don't have to come from a TOEFL book. You find reading and listening materials you have an interest in. Start taking notes. Using your notes, write three. 250 word summaries each week and then of course in addition to doing this this will probably take you about an hour a day in addition to doing this spend maybe one to two hours at my online TOEFL course going over the grammar and the writing lessons and that should get you going in the right direction remember you should be completing three to four independent or integrated writing practice sets on my website each week so you can start getting feedback from me all right HP anyway thank you very much for your questions and all the best to your high scoring writing success